the Earth's population 100,000 years to reach a billion people, and then just 100 more to reach 2 billion, and only, and only 50 years to double again. To double again. 4 billion, 4 billion, 1970. We're nearly at 8 billion now. 8 billion now. We are destroying the very means by which life is sustained. Every single global ill that plagues the Earth can be traced can back, be traced to, back human to human overpopulation. To human overpopulation. Why do we demand inaction? We clear cut. We dump, we consume, we destroy. Half the animal species on Earth have vanished, vanished. In the last 40 years. 40 years. So we keep attacking our own environment. I mean, does it take a catastrophe to learn a our lessons? catastrophe lesson? to get our attention. Nothing changes behavior like pain. Maybe pain can save us. There's a switch. If you throw it, half the people on Earth will die. But if you don't, the human race will be extinct in a hundred years. What will you do? Mankind is the cancer in its own body. Do you love humanity enough to save it? In case they find me, I left you a path. The hardest one yet. Inferno will be at the end. You are my contingency plan. You are humanity's final hope. Make sure Inferno is unleashed. Seek and find. to tell me where it is. Yes, Mr. Bouchard. I know. I will. Tell them humanity is the disease. Inferno is the cure. I'm Dr. Brooks. I'm going to do a few checks, nothing to worry about. We'll get rid of this, shall we? Uh, do you know what day of the week it is? It's Saturday. It's Monday. 
20th of June. On Monday, 20th of June. Do you know where we are? Boston. My mass general. And what's the last thing you can remember? Uh, I, was, I was on campus. I think it's blurry. It's out of focus. It looks like he had some kind of an accident. We'll get to that. Is there someone we should call for you? No. Your wife? Family? No, no. I'm not married. Oh. Professor Langdon, you're suffering from a head trauma and appear to have mild retrograde amnesia. We've done a CT scan. There's no evidence of intracranial bleeding, which is which is very reassuring. Long term. Just try to relax. Neurologically, you seem to be fine. Your memory will return over the next several days. So we'll... we'll wait and watch. Could you turn up the lights, please? Of course. If the head trauma was bad enough to cause cerebral contusions, then photosensitivity could you please, could you please is common. Turn off the lights? What am I doing in Florence? That's El Duomo. That, that's the Palazzo Vecchio, isn't it? Yes. Well, how did, how did I get here? You came to our emergency room three hours ago with a head wound. Oh. <sighs> what was I? Was I a real woman? No, a cab driver brought you in. No wallet, no phone, no ID. Do I have to know my name? We've met. I saw you lecture at Imperial College London. We spoke afterwards. You were very nice to me. We met? Sorry, that's not quite fair. I was nine at the time. Wait, wait, wait nine, nine years, years old? I was crazy about puzzles. And I liked your books. Maybe not lost language of ideograms, but the others. Okay. I read them all. A weird kid. I was, actually. Did I say that out loud? You did. I'm very sorry. Professor Langdon, the headaches are going to be intense initially. And you can also expect nausea, confusion, and dizziness. Si, sono Marconi. That was the front desk. The police are here to see you. Me? Why? Before you talk to them, Professor Langdon, you should know all the facts of your case. Your head wound wasn't caused by an accident. It was the result of a gunshot. A bullet grazed the top of your skull and you most likely took a bad fall, which is what caused the concussion. If the bullet had been an inch, the to, the side, been an inch to the side, it could have killed you. It could have killed you. 